The people around the world are remembering and honoring the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. He was shot and killed 50 years ago today at a motel in Memphis. Today, crowds gathered there, which is now the site of the National Civil Rights Museum. Our Sion Rhodes made the trip to Memphis, and she's joining us live there with more now. Sion. And he had the chance to talk with a now longtime Houstonian who was born and raised in Memphis. He was a teenager when Dr. King came here almost exactly 50 years ago today. And he shared his experience, which he says was a pivotal and transformative moment for him. We can adjust this. Floyd Newsom has lived in Houston for more than four decades. You don't go up any closer. But long before he taught art at the University of Houston downtown, it's a great honor to be in the Smithsonian. Or had one of his pieces displayed at the Smithsonian's National Museum of African American History, he was a child of Memphis. My art is a reflection of, of, of what I've uh, become. Newsom was 17 years old when he began participating in the 1968 protest surrounding the striking black sanitation workers who brought Dr. King to Memphis. And there was a certain part of the march we had to stop because they would not allow us to go any further. And if we continued, we would get put in jail. That's my first jail experience. The next month, Dr. King would be dead, murdered by a sniper at the Lorraine Motel. What I remember is, is just horror. You killed the leader and you killed the spirit, but the spirit revived itself. Newsom says 50 years later, his days as a youth activist in Memphis, living through King's influence and his death, have shaped who he is now. It was an experience. It was, it was something that uh, no one there would ever forget. And this day of remembrance that has been going on since about 8 o'clock this morning culminates at 6.01 tonight, the exact moment of Dr. King's assassination. That's when bells will toll here and around the nation once, 39 times each year of Dr. King's life. Reporting live in Memphis, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.